So this is a 2003 Arctic Cat 400 4x4 with a fully automatic transmission. And what it's doing is it's acting like it's hitting a, a rev limiter when you're in forward gears. Um, normally when you're in a uh, reverse gear, you'll hit a rev limiter as a safety feature. But it's doing that in forward gears. So what I've come to find out is the CDI box uses the uh, gear switch on the transmission. This is right here, it runs back in the case. It tells you what gear you're in up on the dash. You know, neutral or reverse, all that. But if there's a if there's an issue with your CDI box or wiring connections, then it's it's gonna give you a fault where you're hitting uh, rev limiter in forward gears. And what I've found is I took the CDI box out. And if you look at uh, the second pan at the top here, it's a little corroded. And then the fourth one over here, same deal, also a little corroded. So I'm gonna see if that's causing the issue here. And we're gonna clean these up. I'm gonna clean these pins up and then I'll bring you back and see, how, see what happens. All right, so the conclusion to this video, the CDI box I was just talking about, I cleaned up the connections, put it all back together. It still had a rev limiter in high range or low range going forward. It would not go over five miles an hour. So I came back to the wiring and the gear selector switch here, it runs into your transmission. It tells you what gear you're in on the, on the gauge here. Right, that control is reverse, neutral. What I found was the white and blue wire had pulled out of the connector. It's supposed to be in there, it pulled out. And that's why it had a rev limiter uh, in forward gears. Now, if you disconnect this and you can test this out here, like, I'm, I just have, have our ground wire off the battery, and you can hook it in here and connect it to each of these, each pin. That'll, that'll light up your dash lights. Sorry. So if I connect, the, I'm trying to do this in one hand, if I connect that pin, that's neutral, right? Off, on, off, on. I go down to the red one, ground that out. That's my reverse. See, off on, off on. Now we're just grounding these. The black wire, uh, that's not gonna do anything. That's just your ground. But it looks like the red and, or I'm sorry, the white and the blue would be for your high and low range on this sensor. And that's why it was broken when it was, I'm sorry, that's why uh, it was hitting a rev limiter because it's broken. So all I did was jumper the wire, cut it off on this side, added a wire and connect it to that. And the ATV runs great. Uh, no stuttering, no popping, no backfiring. It runs like new. So sometimes it all comes down to is check over your wiring really well and if you suspect this may be the issue you know you might want to just jump all four of these all over just bypass this whole thing because something caused that to break and i'm assuming it's, it's just vibration from age it's doing that every time you ride the machine it's bouncing around so hopefully this helps at least one of you uh, if it did, give me a thumbs up.